Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So continuing with the MoYu London ABC series, I am on the, I'm on H and this is the Halloween collection. And so how many plates do I have? I think I have five in this collection. So I'm going to put some liquid latex. I'm sorry, let me show you. It's Manny Allergies, um, Poly Peel Cuticle Protector. And I tend to call it liquid latex even when there's no latex in it. I think this one is latex, but they have a latex-free version for those that are allergic to latex. And this is so when you're stamping, you don't make a mess on your skin. It just makes it easier to clean up because it just peels right off. And let's see how this goes. I sometimes make more of a mess with this on because if anything touches it or if it touches itself, it peels right off. So I'm just going to start with one nail first. So when you're reverse stamping with watercolors, you, I guess it's not even reverse stamping. So I'm going to pick up the image, I'm going to put it on my nail, and then I'm going to go in with watercolors and kind of fill it in and we'll see how it goes. Um, when I've done this before, one, I haven't done it on a white background. Um, I usually had like a multicolored, probably ombre type nail and then stamped in white and then did it but I'm doing something different. So I'm going to go right over this builder gel. I'm going to stamp in Delirium B233 so that it's not too dark. Um, I don't know. I just didn't want the, I didn't want the severe black. And I was going to, I don't know what I was going to do. I don't know if I actually fully thought it out yet. Okay. And again, I'm not going to be able to fit the whole image on my nail, but that's not really the point. Oh, that sword came out really cool. Man, I kind of like, <laughs> I wish I could use all of this. It all came out like so nicely. Um, like the, the clouds, the sword, ugh. So nice. Take that off. All right, so now I am going to, I might not have even needed the cuticle protector for this. All right, I'm gonna take my Orly Bonder and my sponge. that down and then try not to touch that um okay I guess it doesn't I was worried it was gonna um lift off the um latex but it did not yeah. I have too many things <laughs> I have so much going on with this okay all right all right all right got it got it got it oops some of the color transferred off that sponge I should have used a clean one when using white can you see what I'm doing? Nope. Okay. And this light behind me is causing a glare, so I have to turn it off. Let's um let's move some light over here. What I'm gonna do is move this out of the way. Um, I have a little sponge here. Let me get my brush saturated. And I'm going to go in with the orange first. And then... And get those little pumpkins just like that. Okay. 
Yep. Green. I'm just going in with a just a wet clean brush. I'm wiping off all the excess water and just kind of lightly going over the black. And that just um very lightly wipes away some of the watercolor so that it doesn't look so faded. I hope you can see. So I'm gonna do the yellow now for the windows. And I don't know if I've ever done this on myself or if I've only done it on tips. And doing things on tips is always easier, but I figured um, I'm trying to see, like, this brush is kind of fat. And I just want, like, little dabs of, like, glow. And, like, the doorway and the windows. Even though there's not much space in them. And again, I'm just taking a clean, wet brush with no color on it and just kind of picking up a little bit of the color off of some of the black spots because I just want like a hint of that color. I hope y'all can see what I'm trying to achieve. I do wish I would have done something different in the background instead of going straight in with the white. Like I have an idea but it's too late for that. So I am going to, since I didn't do a dark background, um, I am going to do a dark house, kind of this purpley, well, it's not gonna be that dark, but this purpley color. Let's see how I'm gonna, <laughs> sorry. I always struggle with positioning, right? And I'll clean some of that up, don't worry. That's the, um, one of the good things about the watercolors is, um, if I didn't like any of this, I could just wet the brush and give it a good white with clear water and it would, um, take all the watercolor off and I could start again. I almost feel like maybe I should have did the um, the house color first and then went in with the yellow. I'm trying also to like not get that stem. And I'm not a watercolor expert. I um, I kind of, I have watercolor paints um, because I used to try to do watercolor painting. Like not on my nails, just actual watercolor painting. And um, I'm not very good at it, but I still enjoy it. You don't have to be great at something to enjoy it. So, um. yeah. Maybe I had too much on there. Let's see if this idea works. I'm going to wipe away some of the purple from the window and then kind of go back over it with the yellow. I would have never thought to do this on my own. I, you know, I did see this. Um, 
other people doing this online. Um, and I had the watercolors. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna give that a try. Trying to clean up the black now. I keep saying black, but I think y'all know what I mean. Okay. I'm going to go in with Nope, that was too much, I think. And also, you kind of have to wait till it dries, because when it's wet... Oh. It, um... I can't really see it too much. Okay. And I'm going to pick up some brown the problem is is like getting the saturation just right because i don't really know watercolor i'm just giving the pumpkin a brown stem so that's a pretty big image for like um doing the nail but like, if I did it on a bigger nail where you could really see the details, you might get the full effect. But it's a ooky gooky creepy house. I don't know. What do y'all think? And then I don't really need this one anymore because um, I barely made a mess anyway. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. See, and so this just peels off usually in like one or two pieces and you can roll it and it comes right off oop i got it look at that didn't see that i have to fire that off all right what do you guys think of the watercolor technique So I am out of smudge-free top coat. Um, so I am going to have to, I think I'm going to do a no white top coat. And I don't know, this seems like it should stay matte, but if I put matte over it, it's gonna run. It's gonna smudge. So I'm not even going to try that, okay? Um, let me get my lamp. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't done this before. I don't really know how this is going to react to the... to the... Um, watercolor. Ah, I'm scared. Ruin all that work. I'm really interested to see what everyone thinks of this technique. Like I said, I've seen other people do it online. It's usually a little bit um, simpler, like just flowers and filling it in. But I wanted to challenge myself. I don't know. What do you think? I kind of like it. It's given that oozy kind of watercolor look. I don't mind it. I still wish I'd have done something in the background because it's kind of weird, but... Too late now. I am already in progress. All right. I might try this one. Let's just see what it looks like. Move this one on accidentally. Grab it.
So I'm picking her up in this color and then I'll accent her. What's up, mother? So I'm trying to see, sorry. I'm trying to see which finger gives me the most um, coverage. Let me try to do this a little quickly. I'm so sad. Look at her little feet. Got left on the stamper. Sorry, little feet. And they're still there. Okay. Still cute though. Okay, so I know what colors I think I'm gonna do. Snare goes out the way. I know, so many moving parts when you're doing this. All right, let's see. Oh, that is not the brush I'm using. So I'm going to use this kind of light tan. It's like a sand kind of color, so I'm hoping it kind of goes well for like a nude. I wish the whole image wasn't, um, like the, the outline, like I wish the hair had some open space. You know what I mean? All right, um, I wish I had a smaller watercolor brush. There's a little bit of color. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit there. So I was saying I wish like the hair and some of the other stuff had some open space for some more color. So I'm doing like the side of her corset and like the... um Bat wing some red because it is Halloween, right? I am going to top coat as I go so I don't um, ruin anything. Again. Here we go. Hot Mama is out of the oven. Oh, she looks a lot better now. 
Yep, I should trust myself. I kind of knew what I was doing. Uh, I mean a little bit. Um, I mean a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to do this little booger. So if you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you get some entertainment out of this, if nothing else. And um, clean this off. Get a little bit of entertainment. Maybe learn something, even if you don't do nails. I like watching videos of stuff I can't do or don't do. I'm doing two coats of the Orly Bonder just because I think my builder gel is soaking it up quicker than I can get it on. All right. I barely had that fit. I mean, it's like just, so I'm kind of doing this kind of charcoal gray color for the blade. It doesn't look great, does it? Let's see if I can... I don't want it to go too dark, but I am... I picked up a touch, a touch of black. But I could have gone too far. Because I don't really know anything about color mixing. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to very, very gently clean up right here. And then, I mean, like, I have yellow, but I wish I had, like, gold. I wish I could do, like, I don't know how to get, like, a good gold watercolor. Um, yeah. And then go on with this um, kind of might be magenta. I don't know what it's going to look like because what they look like on here is not what they end up looking like on my nail. For the, I'm not even trying to do different colors. I'm just going with the the one. Uh, for the butterfly or moth, clean up around it. Okay, and I think for the little detail right there, I am going to do like the yellow.
I just had the idea. I'm like, it kind of looks like a popsicle or something. I don't know. It's okay. It's weird. Like, I can hold it up to the camera and I can see things that I can't see. Okay. Might be too close for comfort, right, guys? You're like, get out of my face. That's too close. I guess I could have, um, that was too much water. I picked this spider web because it has the heart in the middle. Hold on. And so I thought it would be cute to stick there and then the only color will be right in the middle of that heart. If that makes sense. Now this is one I could have definitely used the um, <laughs> liquid latex for, but that's okay. And it's not centered, but maybe if I point, don't point those things out, y'all wouldn't notice. Okay, and then here's my little pad. I'm gonna do the little heart red. My laundry buzzer is obnoxious. Right. It's so cute. And then I think I'm going to do some, um, just like a little bit of shadows with the, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put a little bit of black and then gray to get a darker color. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, that's really dark. And then I was just gonna... And I added some, like, the yellow for, like, you know, light shining through. But I don't like how much yellow there is in some of them. That one was a little too dark. I hope I'm not like so far off, like with my weird ideas that, you know, like what the heck is she doing? I don't know. I like it and I, I hope y'all like it too. <laughs> make sure, I want to make sure it's really dry. I didn't top coat this one yet. I kind of just want a nice pumpkin since you can't really see the ones on the haunted house. Definitely not going for cutesy. I forgot to clean that one, so let's switch to this one.
very non-traditional looking pumpkin. It's kind of squishy looking. <clears throat> right. Okay, let's move this. Oops. Move that out of the way. Oh no. Ooh. Mm. I'm like, I want it to look like they're sitting together, but I don't want them, if they're overlapping when you paint them in, that'll look weird. So, yeah. <sighs> Seriously. <sighs> well, damn. That did not go to plan, did it? <clears throat> okay. Let's try again. All right, I can live with that. All right, put some green.
I'm having a glare. Can't see. I'm holding it way up close to the camera so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's cute. And some parts of this look a little bit messy. I'm not sure about kind of making it so dingy. Um... Okay. Yep, here, that that definitely makes it look better. I still want some of the dinginess. Just probably is not as much as I had. <laughs> it's hard to tell when it's still up. I kind of want to finish the pumpkins off with maybe a couple of bats or like little stars. I think I'm going to do the little cluster of stars right here. Here we go, my spooky friends. Some kind of vintagey looking pumpkins. Spider web haunted house with pumpkins at the bottom. I know it's hard to tell. Should have did the one that had the haunted house by itself because that just, you know, is weird. My little bat pinup girl and my butterfly moth, whatever. Um, dagger. So, yeah. What you think? I am not doing the other hand because y'all all know I never have two hands that match. So, this is this one for now. It's so weird. This white on this is so bright compared to the other ones because there's nothing down there. Okay, so I didn't get it on camera, but I, like I said, I I did the shiny gel top coat so that it didn't smudge. And then um, I stopped recording and then I forgot to hit record again whenever I applied the Madame Glam Velvet gel matte top coat. And I've already cured it. And here is what they look like mattified. I, I, I like the matte. Like each... Each version brings out, you know, its own, you know, it's a, just a personal preference. Um, but yeah, that's what they look like, Matt. Um, yeah, so tell me, what do you prefer for this set? I know shiny most of the time, most people like more, but do you think they look better before when they were shiny or do you think they look better now, Matt? Let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think of this technique. And if you would like to see more of it, I welcome any and all suggestions, comments, and tips. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.